Welcome to Lay's Little Golden Books. I hope you all enjoy today's story, and maybe the grown-ups will remember it from their own childhood. Gunsmoke by Seymour Wright A Simon & Schuster Little Golden Book from 1958 The day was calm and quiet, and Dodge City dozed in the warm sun. Suddenly, there came the sound of pounding hoofs and the crack of gunfire. Marshal Matt Dillon raced from his office, his hand ready near his revolver. He was ready for trouble. Then he looked down the street and smiled. Some cowboys were riding into town. They were shouting, waving their hats, and firing their guns into the air. Matt knew that they were cowhands from Bob Ralston's Double T Ranch. For weeks they had been on the trail, driving to Dodge City. For Dodge City was the last stop on the railroad, where cattle were loaded on cars and sent to the big cities of the east. One of the cowhands from the Double T was Timmy Ralston. His father owned the ranch, and at last he had allowed Timmy to come along on a trail drive with the men. As Timmy and the other cowboys galloped along, A stagecoach came out of a side street. The driver saw them and whipped up his horses, trying to get the clumsy stagecoach out of their path. The stage rumbled across the rough dirt street. Suddenly, one of its wheels hit a large rock. There was a cracking jolt, and a wheel came loose from the rear axle. The stage tilted crazily, blocking the way. The horses whinnied, frightened. The cattle stamped and bellowed, unable to get past. Matt Dillon hurried over. With Timmy and several others helping him, the husky marshal knelt and put his strong shoulder under the axle. Then he pushed upward. Little by little, the axle was raised until the stage driver could force the loose wheel back in place. Suitcases and packages were all over the street. Matt helped to collect them and tossed them to the roof of the stagecoach, which had been pulled to one side. Timmy Ralston watched Matt Dillon slap the dirt from his clothing. For the first time, he noticed the marshal's badge pinned to Matt's shirt. I never met a real live marshal before, Timmy said. Do you have a lot of rustlers in your jail? Matt laughed. Not one. I'm fresh out of them. Timmy was disappointed. I thought capturing rustlers and gunfighters was your job, he said. That's part of it, Matt replied, but I'm not here only to take care of trouble. I'm here to keep trouble from happening. Being a marshal isn't all gunplay, son. A lot of it's plain hard work. Matt took a shiny silver dollar from his pocket. Of course, he said, I can shoot when I have to. He tossed the coin high into the air. There was a flash and a bark of gunfire. Timmy bent down and picked up the coin. It was dented right in the middle, where the bullet had struck. Nice shooting, Timmy said. I'd like to see more, but I'd better catch up with the others now. Timmy swung up on his horse and trotted off. He didn't think much of Matt Dillon. Marshals were supposed to be heroes, shooting it out with bad men. And there wasn't a single bad man in Matt's jail. Meanwhile, at the far end of town, The men from the Double T Ranch were beginning to load the Longhorn cattle into the railroad cars. The dust whirled in great clouds. The cattle bellowed loudly. The cowboys shouted and yelled. As Timmy came riding up, one of the steers broke loose and raced across the open field. It bellowed with fright and tossed its head back and forth, swinging its pointed horns. Timmy raced after the fear-crazed animal. He shook out his lariat, ready to lasso the steer and bring it down. Just then, Timmy's horse stumbled and he was thrown to the ground. The steer turned and headed straight for Timmy, its sharp hoofs pounding, its horns swinging angrily. The other men, busy at the loading pens, had not noticed the accident. Timmy tried to scramble out of the way, but the steer was almost upon him. Then Matt Dillon, riding with the speed of lightning, galloped past. He leaned down and pulled Timmy to safety just as the steer went thundering by. Woo, thanks a lot, Timmy said. You sure took a chance, Marshal. Matt watched the steer, which was heading straight toward Dodge City. We've still got work to do, he said. 
Matt spurred his horse and raced after the animal, but he could not catch up to it. That critter's loco, he said. If he gets into town, he's liable to hurt people. There's only one thing left to do. He drew his gun. He aimed and fired from the galloping horse, and the steer slumped to the ground. Timmy looked up at Matt with new respect. That was some shot, he said. Do you think sometime you could give me a few lessons? Matt Dillon laughed. Sure, Timmy. Maybe someday you'll want to be a marshal too, even if it is mostly plain hard work. The end. Thank you.